We are not as intelligently advanced as we think we are. The space telescope we built has captured amazing images of space. It turns out that it's so powerful that it may even have challenged our understanding of the universe. Before the Big Bang, the universe underwent a cosmic-cosmic expansion at least 80 times in a fraction of a second, resulting in a tremendous inflation. This expansion turned out the cosmos bad and cold, halting its growth and transforming a vacuum energy into matter and radiation, marking the beginning of the Big Bang era. During this period of intense heat and density, the elemental building blocks that would eventually coalesce into the galaxies and stars we observe today were formed. The James Webb Space Telescope has explored the distant past of the universe, revealing an unexpected discovery that challenges our understanding of the cosmos. What was there before the Big Bang? This finding has stunned the scientific community and raises fundamental questions about the nature of the universe. Before the Big Bang, the universe did not exist and was created in an event that occurred approximately 13.82 billion years ago. Our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, is just one of about 2 trillion galaxies that formed from the remnants of the Big Bang, essentially islands of stars in the vast cosmos. Despite initial resistance from some scientists, the evidence for this sun creation is hard to ignore, as evidenced by galaxies scattering like cosmic bullets and the afterglow of the Big Bang still detectable in the form of microwave radiation known as a cosmic microwave background. In 1965, the analogy is put forward that the Big Bang did not take place at a specific point, but that the universe emerged and expanded simultaneously in all directions. This event did not occur in a pre-existing vacuum, as the fabric of space-time manifested with the expansion of the universe. A common comparison of the universe is to imagine it as an expanding pie, where the raisins represent galaxies moving away from each other without a central point of origin. However, unlike a pie with a finite boundary, the theoretically eternal universe has no discernible boundary. During the inflationary period, the vacuum contained an energy that increased proportionally to its volume, like a stack of bills that doubles or triples in value with each doubling or tripling. This inflatory energy is dissipated randomly, giving rise to the creation of matter and the heat characteristics of the Big Bang. This inflationary vacuum, which was essentially infinite, gave rise to our Big Bang universe as one of among an infinite number of bubble universes. This process began with a small amount of inflationary vacuum and quantum theory suggests that phenomena such as these can rise seemingly out of nothing. However, the Big Bang theory still presents limitations and challenges, although it is reasonable to assert that the universe began in an extremely hot and dense state, it has been expanding and cooling ever since. Uncertainties remain about how it fits various observations and exactly how it originated. Nevertheless, cosmologists have had to make adjustments to the Big Bang theory. According to this theory, the expansion of galaxies would be due to the solely to the gravitational attraction of matter. However, if this were the only process at play, the time required for galaxies to form would be considerably longer than the estimated 13.82 billion years. To address this discrepancy, astronomers have proposed the existence of invisible dark matter, which supposedly accumulates up to six times more mass than visible stars and galaxies, thus increasing the rate at which galaxies develop due to gravity. Although the fundamental Big Bang theory suggests that the expansion of the universe should gradually slow down due to the gravitational pull of galaxies. In 1998, astronomers discovered evidence that this expansion is accelerating. It is speculated that this acceleration could be caused by the presence of dark matter, an imperceptible form of energy that fills space and exerts a repulsive gravitational pull. Furthermore, the reason why the universe maintains a constant temperature requires additional adjustments to the fundamental Big Bang hypothesis. 
Astronomers suggest that the universe may have started out smaller than expected, then underwent an extremely rapid initial expansion in its first fraction of a second, known as inflation, caused by an inflammatory vacuum. A highly energetic form of the vacuum that was already present in space. Considering the possibility that the Big Bang was not the first event to occur, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured a stunning image of that tiny corner of the universe, revealing previously unknown information. The purpose of the telescope is to detect light emitted by the first stars and galaxies, in the hope of gaining more details about the earliest moments of the universe. This breakthrough occurred on Christmas Day 2021. The main goal of the James Webb Space Telescope is to detect light emitted just after the Big Bang, when stars and galaxies began to form. This powerful telescope, which has been seeing developments for 25 years, is considered the successor of Hubble, with a capacity 10 billion times more powerful. Since its launch, it has captured stunning images of galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, as well as the moment before the birth of a star. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured the first direct image of an extrasolar planet that has been used to photograph the Tarantula Nebula, a region rich in young stars not previously visible to the human eye. It has also revealed new hidden structures and fine details of huge gas clouds, such as the Pillars of Creation. Recently, an image of NGC 346, part of the Small Magellanic Cloud SMC, a dwarf galaxy located 200,000 light years from Earth, has been published. NGC 346, already known as a stellar nursery, offers a unique view of conditions during cosmic noon, a time when stars formed faster due to stellar dust. Although the star-forming zones were thought to be dust-free, the scans of NGC 346 show the opposite the presence of massive dust clouds that accelerate star formation. According to Margaret Meixner, lead scientist of the study, NGC 346 is the only major cluster in its galaxy that is actively generating stars at present. This provides a unique opportunity to investigate cosmic noon conditions. The abundance of dust in NGC 346 supports the hypothesis the galaxies during the cosmic noon were also covered with dust, providing a closed window into the early universe. In addition, it is suggested that NGC 346 may be generating planets as well as stars from swirls of metallic dust. This finding implies that Earth-like planets may have formed much earlier in the history of the universe than previously believed by astronomers. The new image captured by the James Webb Telescope is certainly a marvel, considering that the machine has barely been in orbit for a little over a year and has already managed to live up to all the expectations of all the designers and planners, regardless of the complexity of the chemistry and stellar physics involved. This stunning image adds to a growing collection of breathtaking panoramas beamed back to Earth by the James Webb Space Telescope. In addition, this instrument has enabled scientists to study the infancy of the cosmos, making a surprising discovery about the existence of six huge galaxies that existed between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang, radically changing our understanding of galaxy formation. The James Webb Space Telescope uses infrared light to probe the universe. Since this wavelength is undetectable to the human eye, and allows it to capture the faint light emitted by ancient stars and galaxies. With this amazing capability, the observatory can literally go back in time to 13.5 billion years ago, challenging our preconceptions about the early formation of the universe. Scientists need to rethink how galaxies formed and evolved, as the data collected show that these galaxies are much larger than expected from current models. This challenges the prevailing idea that galaxies begin as small clouds of stars and dust that evolved over time. Although it is believed that the galaxies observed with the James Webb Space Telescope data may be somewhat later, it is crucial to keep an open mind about what we are observing, as this is our first look at such far distances. 
While the data suggest that they are likely to be galaxies, there is a possibility that some of these objects are hidden supermassive black holes. In any case, the discovery of a much larger than expected amount of mass indicates a significant change in our understanding of the universe, even if we reduce the sample size. There are several reasons why astronomers could have erred in their estimates, such as more efficient methods of star formation than previously believed. This could have fooled the James Webb Telescope into interpreting the stars in these galaxies as older as they really are.